Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Cradle. Today I invited Veronica who is a head of local chapters at Omdena. So you don't need to worry about what is local chapter and uh, what is Omdena. You will get to know everything in this video. And that's why Veronica is here to answer all the queries or all the doubts that we could have had related to uh, platforms. So for now, all you need to know is Omdena is a really great platform where you can go and uh, work on real world projects and in that process you will learn quite a lot and uh, also in that process you will be able to work on those projects so you can put them in your portfolio so your portfolio will look even better and you will be a part of a very good community so you will help each other as well so yeah uh, this is the gist of omdena but uh, let's straight away dive into the discussion with veronica so that you will learn about the platform even more like how to join and uh, what are the advantages so things like that but anyways uh, before moving further as always if you are new here or if you want to subscribe to the channel please go subscribe to the channel and be a part of programming creator family and also hit that bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live and if you end up liking this video please give it a thumbs up it keeps you motivated to make such videos for you guys so with that being said let's start a discussion and if you have any queries you can always post in the comment section i always reply to all the comments and you can also join live streams on saturday 12 pm british summer time so yeah let's start the discussion thank you Vinaka, for joining this meeting and uh, answering all the queries that we have related to omdena because i personally feel like it's a really good platform uh, so I have several questions. Uh, I'll go through them one by one and uh, you can just give us a overview about all the things. So to start with, uh, can you explain a little bit about Omdena and uh, the goal it has and how it can be helpful for people? Okay, so um, basically yeah, I'm Veronica and I'm heading local chapters. So uh, I know most about this um, part of Omdena, but in short, you can say that Omdena is like a world of opportunities to learn AI and explore it and uh, meet people in that field online. But you can also find people in the same local area uh, with local chapters. So uh, I guess it's a lot of fun and there are always new opportunities coming up. So it's not like a still a river, it's much more like a really um, involving every day and it's just really worth it to get engaged because you never know what's going to come next yeah that's true so how that can be helpful for people like uh, if somebody wants to get into ai or if somebody is just starting out ai uh, or machine learning stuff so how can that be helpful for them so yeah as i mentioned there are lots of uh, options mm -hmm. but the most basic one is to just take part in one of our projects uh, if you do already uh, know what is code and uh, how computer works, then uh, you should apply for local chapter project because they are mostly aiming to just educate instead of um, being super difficult and mm -hmm. changing the world with the first project. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, there are also people advanced uh, that are joining um, because um, this is a really unique experience as beginners meet advanced people and everyone can learn something from each other. Yeah. Um, and that's just one aspect, because then when you finish a local chapter project, you can either do another one, open your own, which means mm -hmm. like you have your ideas. So maybe you want to build your solutions. Mm -hmm. You want to learn to be a leader more. Mm -hmm. It really depends what kind of skills um, development you're mm -hmm. more interested in. That's why uh, we also have something like a growth pass. Mm -hmm. So um, you can see on like our uh, website that you can either maybe be more researcher or scholar or just um, engineer. So um, depending on what you're more interested in, uh, you can choose something. And then when you're like feeling more confident, you can also join core challenges, mm -hmm. which are like um, with professionals, with um, organizations mm -hmm. and um, they are longer and more time consuming but they're also very rewarding and mm -hmm. um, when you engage with them a lot you can get great rewards and in the end you can get into talent project which is mm -hmm. like um, one of the things that we do a lot lately which is basically uh, getting kind of hired by mm -hmm. this organization uh, mm -hmm. for a specific project mm -hmm. um, so yeah and there's also something that's cool so if you maybe feel not too confident with your skills yet um and you need like theoretical knowledge mm -hmm. you can get subscribed for one of our courses mm -hmm. um for people who are already in community we offer also for everyone 
like access to basic course in data mm -hmm. science, okay. like um, uh, evergreen. But if you are interested in like teaching more, mm -hmm. uh, you can um, present your own course there. When you actually explained it, it feels like there are so many different opportunities. People, if people want to go into teaching, they can do that. If they want to go into development, they can do that. If they just want to learn, they can do that as well. So there are so many things that they can do. It's a really good thing to know. Uh, but uh, from that, I came up with another question is like, if they're working on a local chapter and um, that someone is very new to AI and stuff, then they know very basic coding. So there are chances that they might get stuck somewhere in that problem and they might not be able to solve how to do it. So will they get any kind of support to tackle those type of problems? Yeah, sure. So normally the first uh, point of contact when someone has a problem in local chapter, there's like a local chapter lead, which is like a person who is kind of driving through these ideas and project execution. But sometimes maybe the domain is not um, so easy and some expert is needed, then we have a contact with a chapter lead and we are uh, finding someone from our like 7,000 people community uh, who is really keen on making a workshop or mm. just joining for a couple meetings. It's really like a great opportunity that we have, that we already have this great net of people that are just keen on giving back because mm -hmm. they got learned. Um, they learned something from Omdena. So now they want to give back. So it's a, it's a really nice um, net. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually really good. Like people are helping each other out because while helping also, we learn quite a lot of things. So yeah, yeah. that's a really good thing. And it's a positive community, which we can see there. So that's a really good thing. Uh, if they want to join local chapter and if they want to just get started with, uh, what is the procedure, what they need to do? So if you want to apply for a local chapter project, you just go to Omdena and mm -hmm. uh, Omdena slash local chapters. Um, if you want to direct from website, you go to AI engineers and mm -hmm. local chapters is there. Um, and then uh, there are projects listed and you can directly apply for them. Firstly, read uh, what is interesting for you, maybe search through what is in your country or in your area, city even, we have these filters. And uh, yeah, if you have specific interest in a domain or role in that project, you can reach out either to the chapter lead or to me even, and we can ensure that's gonna happen. But if you're like more interested in the path of creating your own project that we really support, um, then you will apply also from local chapters page for being a chapter lead. Mm -hmm. And I think now it's a very interesting time to do that because we are also developing um, impact program for local mm -hmm. chapters, which aims to bring even more local impact to, to this um, project. Mm -hmm. We are um, having new partnerships uh, with uh, some parts of big organizations and NGOs. So the either a person can bring their own idea and mm -hmm. then um, they build it and we will have an event for presentation and three of the best projects will be developed with this talent project. Okay, that's really nice. Um, but we also have this partnership with um, this organization. So they bring their problems mm -hmm. and some people can just choose from them and okay. build on that idea. So if you yeah. don't have ideas, also not a problem exactly um, because many people find it hard to get some interesting idea to work on so because i get a lot of questions related to these kind of things on my channel like uh, i'm finding it hard to think about a project what could be the solution so this could be another good solution they can come to home and they can see yeah. what all projects are there and they can actually contribute there so yeah that's a really good thing um and about joining the projects or local chapter is there any requirement that a person should be from technical background or something so if somebody is not from technical background can they also join yeah, I think uh, right now we are also really trying to find ways to involve people that will not have per se technical background. But for example, when there is a local chapter, it also needs some promotion. Mm -hmm. So if someone is interested in um, social media, they can join this chapter and take care of that. So anyway, they will be contributing and meeting um, people from the field, but they don't necessarily need to be after four years of studies and so on. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really flexible. We are just there for bringing something together. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That's really good. Uh, is there any cost of joining the platform? No, no, it's it's all free. Even okay. uh, Obdena School is free. Mm -hmm. It's donation based. So mm -hmm. after you do the course, you can decide if you want to donate something. But mm -hmm. uh, we really want to give that opportunity to everyone, no matter their financial status. That is really interesting to know and really motivating to know because 
<laughs> if i'll be very frank i have been reached out by a lot of courses they just want to sell their courses via my channel and i have declined their offer quite a lot i mean they were paying me of course but that's not what i want to do and that's why i really like the concept of omdena which is actually trying to give back to the community and actually making good use of people who are actually interested so yeah that's why i thought it would be a really good opportunity to uh, bring you on the channel and tell people more about omdena so that was really interesting uh, so yeah these were uh, some of the questions which i had related to omdena and you really helped us to understand a lot more about omdena so it was really helpful having you on the channel uh, but if you have anything which we didn't cover in this meeting if you want to specify that uh, so yeah you can tell that yeah uh, so maybe what i want to add is just like um you should try uh getting out of your comfort zone uh because um maybe this is not the easiest way to do this project because you need to find mostly the way yourself it's like bottom up um mm -hmm. practice but after that project you have like really unique feeling in yourself like really proud and you really did something and you met so many people that are so nice to you like mm -hmm. who is this world is so nice and they are really really nice so um yeah i guess it's worth trying i totally agree because when i was starting out i was really directionless i was feeling it like where to start where to not because there's a lot of content available online so you don't know as a beginner what to do first Uh, so that way but then i started taking up uh, uh, some toy projects or some projects and i started working on them and i learned by doing and i follow that philosophy all the time so i think that's a really good point which you put forward so people can actually come here learn by doing so that's a really good thing yeah, yeah so think, yeah yeah good the, the problem is that like especially with online learning that mostly you do it by yourself so it's really especially for me demotivating that okay now i need to do this part and then read this but there is no human interaction exactly. but here you have like really this energy flow because there is like 15 or 30 other people you can even chat with or code mm -hmm. with together so it's a completely different environment than like a normal uh online mm -hmm. theoretical course and then you're like more alive when you're finishing yeah. it yeah true online learning can be can become very lonely at times so that's a good thing that there is a community to help each other yeah yeah and it makes it more interesting more vibrant exactly to, to learn and read because mm -hmm. someone looks at it someone can help you and then someone acknowledges it yeah in the end. exactly yeah uh yeah. thank you so much i mean these were really informative things and really good insight for omdena so yeah thank you so much uh these were the questions which i had great yeah i i hope we will see each other again maybe with some project that you will do and yeah. we will discuss your experiences yeah sure i will also once i will get a little bit of time i think i will open another project on omena and we'll see if people are liking that and i will work towards it so i can also make some good community there <laughs> <laughs> yeah it can be fun yeah uh, okay thank you so much for joining thank you have a wonderful day so there you have it i hope you found this video helpful if you did give it a thumbs up Uh, I will try to bring more such videos for you guys, and I keep making uh, such informative videos to help people who are just getting started in data science. So do subscribe to the channel for more such informative videos, and uh, yeah, all the relevant links will be in the description. So do check out that, and if you want to reach out to Veronica, I will also leave the uh, leave her email address into the description, so you can check out that as well. So yeah, whatever you need is there in the description. If you want to download data science notes, again link is in the description. Join our Telegram group. There we always have good discussion, and I sometimes make announcements there as well. So yeah, uh, the Telegram group is also a very good community. So with that being said, uh, hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Happy learning.